The American dream is a good dream, but King's dream it seemed to be needed uh, if the American dream is going to be real for everybody. Congressman Jim Clyburn stressing the need for Americans to keep Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s vision alive for all. As many across the state take part in the King Day at the Dome, Clyburn says it's important to not get lost in ideological battles. I think the thing for us to keep in mind uh, is King's letter from the Birmingham City Jail when he said to us that he was coming to the conclusion that the people of ill will in our society was making a much better use of time than the people of goodwill. Clyburn himself understanding what it's like to fight for justice, he recalls being part of a protest that led to a ruling called Edwards versus South Carolina. It all started back in March of 1961. He and other college students from across the Midlands, including a former South Carolina Chief Justice Gene Toole, gathered to make their voices heard. It was in Zion Baptist Church from which I marched on that morning for the last day, I, the last time I went to jail. And it was the most profound experience I ever had. At the time, South Carolina passed a new law called Breach of the Peace. The congressman saying that the law, among other things, hindered African Americans from protesting publicly about the unfair treatment and the effects of segregation felt throughout the South. He, along with others, were arrested for protesting the law and spent three days in jail. A final decision was made in February of 1963 based on the First and Fourteenth Amendment. The U.S. Supreme Court found South Carolina infringed upon their group's right to free speech and overturned their convictions. The ruling was dubbed Edwards versus South Carolina. Congressman Clyburn says plenty has been done to address racism, but he believes Dr. King would be disappointed at the state of our nation. Where do we go from here? He might would ask that question and then he would offer the alternative, chaos or community. That's where we are. Are we gonna build a community or are we gonna continue the chaos that exists here on Capitol Hill, uh, all over South Carolina, all over the nation for that matter? He would ask that question and I would hope that we would uh, do what's necessary to answer in the affirmative community. Stay up to date with this story and more. Subscribe to our Watch Fox YouTube page. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell to never miss an update.